there are no RA and TA positions available to master students. You know, they'll have they'll ask you to fill out a form which in which you can describe you know, how why you're suitable for that particular subject. If you have some prior experience, probably you've taken that course in the previous semester and scored really well. So something like that. And based on that form, uh, they make the decision on whether they want to give you a graduate assistantship or not. And a graduate assistantship is mainly a gradership position in which you are grading assignments for the students. Sometimes you might have to grade their projects as well, and sometimes it, you might have to design the assignments also. It's generally four to five hours a week, and it pays like about twenty-five dollars or something an hour. The dining is a pretty common capital job that people do because you get to eat food also there, so you don't have to cook once you go back home. And um, a lot of people uh, take up jobs in the library. Overall, I had to pay around fifty-five, fifty-six thousand dollars just for academics. And apart from that, living expenses I try to cover through, you know, working on campus in the dining halls or as a graduate assistant. You would end up spending at least five hundred to six hundred dollars a month. Nothing but the computer science department will give, uh, like that, you know, graduate assistant positions. But that won't include a fee waiver. Maybe you can try some scholarships, you know, like J and Tata, or I think Mahindra also has something.